What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today, we are going back onto the ranked ladder. I, because I don't play off camera because I'm just too busy of a guy, I uh, need to get into Master Ball rank. I haven't done it yet. I think, what is it, yesterday we're like in the middle of Great Ball still. Uh, we're going to continue to use this Bax Calibre team that I built. At the end of the week, I will be dropping the code. Uh, keep in mind that there is one thing wrong about this team. Well, two things wrong, actually. I need to fix it. But uh, it's supposed to be Psychic Armor Rouge and Fire Annihilate. But we'll just deal with it. Why not? Eh, let's, just, let's just roll with it. Uh, it's been doing just fine, to be honest. So we're just going to get a couple of games in tonight. Uh, see how high we can climb. And yeah, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content, and answer my comment question of the day. Now that I'm bringing back the moveset guides, because spoilers, I'm going to actually bring back the moveset guides now that the meta's developed a bit, uh, let me know what you want to see first. Okay, this is just like the Murkrow, Goldango, Garchomp team that's been like making rounds right now. Um, I actually quite like the Trick Room lead. Because I can lead off Indeedee and it's very difficult for them to stop the Trick Room, especially if I um, Terra Dark on like a Hydreigon lead. So we'll go like Obama Snow, Indeedee, um, Annihilate, and... Oh, my computer says it wants to install an update. No, you won't. And I think my last Mon... Uh, I'm kind of feeling the Sylveon. I'm thinking that's probably my best option, actually. They're like super Sylveon weak. Uh, granted, it's most likely Terra Steel, Hydreigon. But yeah, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I set up an email, or not an email, I set up a, um, what was it, a smart system in my apartment, so now I can like tell my house, turn on the light, turn off the light, I put on a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, that sort of thing. Um, also, I got an email from a scammer today that was like, hey, I recorded you through your camera. You don't want to know what I recorded, and I'm like, Google, Google, oh, it's a scam, okay. We're good. <laughs> Murkrow and Mousehold? Pathetic. Um, honestly, it's in my best interest just to go for Veil and Trick Room. Like, there's no reason to protect here. All that's going to happen is I might lose my Ndidi. Yeah, like, it's always, like, correct to go for Trick Room and Aurora Veil here. They can't taunt it. I might lose a Bomb of Snow. It's like, whatever. Uh, something I will say is Mousehold is terrifying. And also, if you haven't noticed, my Ndidi has Trick Room, even though it's female. Normally, female Ndidi doesn't learn this, um, but for some reason it does this gen. It's You only get it through the... Uh, you can only get it through the... Uh, wow, I'm taking like nothing from this population bomb. You can only get it through 5-star raids, which is really funny. Yeah, that's all 10 times, and you still didn't KO. Feel bad about it. You can only get it through 5-star raids. A lot of people thought it was a glitch. I'm fairly certain it's a glitch, but we're just going to pretend like it's not. We're absolutely gaming. Alright. Um, I think here it's just always correct to go for the Psychic into the Blizzard. Because uh, it deals a lot of damage. Like, their whole team is, like, weak <laughs> to this. Uh, my Blizzard should be dealing a decent amount to the Murkrow if it's not Eviolite. It might be Covert Cloak for all I know. It could even be Sash. Um... But I'm mostly just looking to deal damage to this uh, stinky little family of mice. I'm more of a rat man myself. Alright, not quite a one-shot on the Murkrow, but that's fine. Let's see if I can KO here. Nice! Okay, I was only really scared of Mousehold, to be honest. Likely gonna go for my Abomasnow. Snow. Abomna. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm gaming. Uh... <laughs> I think that they thought maybe their mouse hold would live, but uh, no, it didn't. Abomna. Snover! It's such a stupid meme. I, I'm just... Okay, there's the chomp. Um, likely just gonna, like, Earthquake. But I think I always just go for Psychic and, like, Blizzard. Like, there's no reason not to, like, if we're being real. Like, what are they gonna do? Like, they can, like, tear a ground Earthquake, but, like, I don't lose much from this play. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna underspeed, I'm gonna KO this Murkrow. Uh, I can't miss, because we're in the snow. By the way, can someone let me know, because that's a mechanic that I, even though I've been playing this game for, like, a decade now, don't know. Alright, so with, with Rain, Hurricane and Thunder cannot miss, it just bypasses the accuracy check. Is it the same with Blizzard in the snow, or is it, like, just 100% accuracy? 
I, I like always forget this. Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay. I'm fairly certain Annihilate just goes crazy mode on this guy now, so let's just do this. You you literally can't save both of them. You literally can't. Well, I mean, I guess you could. Uh, I think that they want to Terra Steel, though, here on their Hydreigon to, like, not get one shot. Dude, imagine losing to Abomna. I'm going to name it Abomna. I love that meme. <laughs> All right. I had to double check I was recording. I always get nervous that I'm like not recording. Okay, that, that Garchomp is just gone. It is, it is literally just gone. Like there is no way around it. Yeah, bye. Um, probably a Flash Cannon into my uh, Bomb of Snow. I haven't gotten a freeze yet this entire like gen. Can I get a freeze? Special defense drop. No, not very poggers. I don't know why you did that. Yeah, your life orb, buddy. Tailwind Peter's out, that's fine. Psychic, yeah, like I win with Annihilate. Like I don't have to think much about this. Also, before I release the team, I will be PP maxing the moves. So keep that in mind. All right, nice win, nice win. Indeed, he's dark, by the way. It lets us, um, lets us resist uh, moves. It should be fairy. Like that's like the better version, but like, I got a Terra Dark Indeedy from a viewer, so I'm, I'm gonna roll with it. It's got, like, bad speed IVs, which is the whole point. Alright. Also, if you're watching this at uh, 6 p.m., I'm going live on Twitch. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I go live on Twitch, I'm gonna be doing some ranked battles. Uh, it's likely there that I'll actually reach Master Ball tier, uh, but I just need to get a video done today. Also, I'm going to do a moveset guide. Like, if if you're the King Gambit guy, congratulations. I'm doing King Gambit today, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> like, because this is this is actually probably going to drop after the moveset guide. But yeah, I'm doing King Gambit after this. All right. But also, I have to, like, find a better way to market the moveset guides. Uh, like, it, moveset guides are, like, helpful and all, right? But... I feel like it might be better to, I don't know, maybe like pair up a few of them. I don't know. I, I have a lot to think about as to how I get people to click on the moveset guides as well as having them Hello. Yo, was that free points? Tell me that was free points. Tell me that was their fault. Tell me that was their fault. Come on. No, I, just no one's fault. Okay. Anyways, point is, uh, I need to, like, also, like, have people be interested in the moveset guides when I release them. Chris, rank 8. Uh, Toad Scroll. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Wow. Uh, I don't know what this is, really. Like, there's not much... There, I don't see a cohesive team here. It's just, like, a bunch of cool stuff. Which, I won't lie, it's very cool. Uh, but it, but it is just, you know, just cool stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Indeedy Obama Snow lead. I like Bax Calibur in the back quite a No, I like Annihilate. Annihilate can just, for, for lack of a better, you know, phrase, uh, annihilate them. Um, and I think that my Armor Rouge in the back is actually quite good in this matchup. So, let's do that. Not a Bax game, unfortunately. No Bax. No Takesies Baxies. As my phone rings. What's my girlfriend? No, stop. It's going to be loud and annoying into the microphone. All right, there we go. I vibe I made my I made my phone vibrate instead of uh instead of bat -bat at me. You know, I was originally thinking like Sylveon would be good into this game, but I'm just a little bit too scared of uh <laughs> of um Goldango. All right. Oh yeah, baby. Swag. Um. Oh wait, that's not actually that good because they can just heat wave. Uh, let me think. Do I lose anything by Terra-ing here to prevent a KO? 
I don't think I actually lose that much by, by terraing here. Oh, uh, no. Maybe Armor is in the back wants to. Uh, let's protect. And I think... No, you know what? I think that they might trick room. I'm, I'm gonna make a little bit of a crazy play. I think I think they're just gonna trick room. Follow me. I see an armor rouge. They're trick rooming, right? They're they're gonna be a silly guy, in trick room, despite the fact that that's like a free KO. Oh wait, I'm getting a little concerned. I'm getting a little concerned. That was like their trick room Pokemon. Oh wait, wait. I'm getting really concerned. Can you like not heat wave here? Can you like armor cannon? Oh, wow. Wait, did I get it right? Did they actually Trick Room and switch out the Trick Room Pokemon? Insane. It could never be me. I would never have done that. Okay. Um. Well, honestly, I see very little reason not to just spam Blizzards. I don't actually have that much of a purpose for this guy now. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's deal with the uh, the elephant in the room, uh, which is actually him, funny enough. The, uh, the not-elephant. I don't like Armor Rouge in this matchup. It's actually quite dangerous for my boy Annihilate. And once the Armor Rouge is gone, Annihilate's a lot better. So we'll just spam Blizzard, maybe get a Freeze or two. Did like nothing, obviously, but we're going to Freeze right here. what I tell you? No Freeze. All right, that's fine. Make it rain. They're like no speed investment whatsoever. Oh my god. They're also, like, slower than my Ndidi, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and I am Scarf on my guy. So, we might be in trouble. Can't lie, this actually might be a bit of an issue. Uh, because I can't go into, into my Armor Rouge and expect to do anything here. I might have I freaked it, to be honest. I might have freaked it. Yeah, uh, let's just go for the uh, Rage Fist and follow me. And just hope. Yeah, because I can't reverse Trick Room. Are they like... How slow is that Armor Rouge? I guess Ndidi is actually like... You know, a little bit faster than it normally. I don't know. Maybe they just don't have Expanding Force. Let's just hope they don't have Expanding Force, right? They're going to have it, by the way. Oh, there's Psy Shock. Okay, no, we're good. I'm pretty sure we just like... Are like epic here, now that I think about it. Make It Rain shouldn't do too much at minus one. Even if they're like Specs, I have Aurora Veil up and I am literally max special defense. Yeah, it's going to power up my Rage Fist. You're gone. Um, and now my Armor Rouge doesn't seem that bad in the back. Because Make It Rain's going to do, like, nothing to me. Um, fairly certain I can take, like, a high horsepower from this, uh... From this, uh, Mudsdale. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is, like, body press stuff. Oh, it's King Gambit. Um. I mean, a Kowtow Cleave would hurt. But I can just Drain Punch it. Yeah, I think here we just go for Drain Punch and I actually Terra. And lock myself into Heat Wave because that'll protect me from Kowtow Cleave from one shotting. Uh, and I mean, I don't know. Uh, make it rain will hurt. I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna get my Citrus Berry off of this. Um, off of this King Gambit. All right. I should be able to take a cleave now. And who knows, maybe I'll just burn. Also, I'm Scarf on my Armor Rouge, so like when Trick Room runs out, we're just fine. Like Rhesus Puffs, baby. Like Rhesus Puffs. We ate it up. Give me all that health back. Alright, I'm feeling good about this. Watch me get this burn. Don't miss. This is a bit of a messy game. 
it was a bit of a messy game. I get a critical hit on the Mudsdale, so that might actually be Assault Vest. Um, I can, however, just like Rage Fist now. Um, actually, my play is always going to be to do this here. So there's one turn left to Trick Room. I know for a fact that the Gold Ango is going to go first. So I protect here. And I attempt to Heat Wave, even though it's going to fail. Um, but because we, we confirm Gold Ango is like a slow variant, um, I'm, I'm going to be able to outspeed and Rage Fist it next turn, and then uh, Mudsdale won't be able to beat me. Yeah, so we sack the Armor Rouge. We know it's slow because Make It Rain went before my Ndidi under Trick Room. So it may be like Iron Ball. Alright. Um, Chris mentions turn to normal. Weirdness. This, all these weather effects are gone, but you know what's still here? Check it. That Aurora Veil. And that's going to be the difference maker. Let me Rage Fist, that should always KO you. Unless they like, you know, Terra. Eh, it might still KO. Maybe I should have Drain Punched, it was too big of a risk. Okay, no, they went for it into that. Uh, Terra Ground, I can eat a hit from you, dude. I can eat a hit from you. And then the Rage Fist one-shots. Or not one-shots, but cleans up. Alright. Listen, with... Oh, what? What? How? Literally how? Oh my god. Are they gonna Earthquake? Am I gonna drop to this? I gotta define... Literally, how did you take that? Alright, please, just, just live. Literally, just have them... Alright, Earthquake yourself. Don't have Horsepower. Earthquake. Yeah, Alright, yeah, Horsepower. Okay. How did he live that? Well, I guess he is max HP. Yeah, I guess if it's like a slow variant, it, it, it like could live. I did- oh, if- I literally just had to eat that. Oh my- I'm so upset about that. I thought I had it in the bag. I thought I cleaned that endgame up so nice. Alright. Let's continue battling. To be fair, I actually don't have that much attack investment in my Annihilate. I'm actually like a really bulky spread. Which is why I have like, you know, bulk up on it. <laughs> Dang, I might actually play off camera and just climb to like Master Ball. Because after that, after that, man, I, I, feel, I feel very insecure. After that game, I feel very insecure. Hopefully I can get a Bax Caliber game to, you know... Not only for a thumbnail, but to make myself feel better. It, it's it's twofold. Um. Ooh, is this gonna be a backs game? Maybe not. Maybe not. Um. It is just now dawning on me that even though I am like the uh, the Don Ductor. I, like, neglected to put a Don Dozo answer on this team, except for possibly Sylveon. Um, I should be able to Trick Room just fine. But I have to, like, Terra my Obama Snow. I could also just lead off like this. Let's just do this. I'm gonna go backs, or do I go backs or do I go Annihilate? I'm thinking that the way I have to play this is like Scarf Armor Rouge and like follow me in DD on lead and that like beats everything uh, unless they lead off with uh, Tatsugiri or something. And then in the back, I can win with, I can probably win with Obama Snow and Annihilate, yeah. We have like almost never used Sylveon on this team. All right. Did I select no music? Oh, this is not hype at all. 
Guys, I'm, I, I apologize. I have to now fill in the music in the... Alright, we're gonna have some epic trap beats in the background of this one. Um, I think I do just Terra here. And go for the Heat Wave. Wouldn't it be crazy if they Terra Steeled? Check this out. Alright, can you guys hear the epic trap beats? I'm sure you can. I just have to make sure I KO that, um, the gold Ango. Makes my end game a lot easier. Also, this should still do a ton. Like, even resisted hits. Oh, please tell me you Terra Steeled. I know Terra Steel is a common thing for Hydreigon. Alright, it's gold Ango. It should just, it should be Steel, though. Oh, what? Flying? Hello? Alright, well, I don't know about that one. Um, I at least resist this hit. with oh that did like nothing hello all right miss miss the yeah okay that's all i care about you missing to be honest i am really surprised they're terra flying of all things oh wait i can go crazy here check this out snarl me again snarl me again um do i trick room here let me think. Well, that might be optimal. Um, I think I follow me, just in case they Shadow Ball. Please snarl me. Please snarl me, I'd be so happy. You want to snarl so bad, man. Also, your Scarf Goldango. That is my other prediction. Please. Draco Meteor. Oh, that's not good. Um, not, not great. I, I, I was kind of hoping they'd Snarl again, to be honest. What's the likelihood I take this? Probably, like, not that bad. Yeah, no, I did, like, almost nothing, actually. I guess, yeah, it's not that scary when you don't have a stab boost. Okay. So I have a crazy game plan. Um, I'm going to go into my Armor Rouge. And I'm going to Expanding Force and I'm going to bulk up. That is my crazy game plan. Are you guys down? You guys down to climb? I'm down to climb. Um, or maybe I just like Armor Cannon. No. It shouldn't do that much to me anymore. Yeah, everything's at like minus two. Let's just Expanding Force. I get that it doesn't like... Hurt the Hydreigon, but, you know, Goldango's at minus one. For some reason, it's not Terra Steel, so it's not doing that much. Alright. Pick a Meteor. Did a decent amount. Uh, make it rain shouldn't KO me, but I am a little bit scared that the next Draco will. That's an oh, why do you have to have that? Alright, the next Draco does not KO me. There's no shot. Uh, what's in the back again? Oh, I have to play- I'm playing so messy today. I have to Drain Punch. Yeah, there's- there's no- there's no other option. Don't have Protect, buddy. Don't have Protect. Okay. I can eat a Draco. I can eat a Draco. I KO you. Or maybe I'll just miss the Draco. Listen, he's at, like, minus four, and I'm max special defense. I can eat a Draco. Come on. I can eat a Draco. I can eat a Draco. Yes! <laughs> yes, you're insane, Anaya. Like, you're insane. All right, let's get all that health back. And I'm thinking, um, because there's definitely a Meowskarada in the back, my next turn, I probably have to get my guy off the field. Or it might just be Dozo combo. No, it's Meowskarada. Alright, it's solo Dozo. Let's protect here. I'm gonna get in Abomna. And Abomna actually looks really good for this endgame.
Most meals are our choice band, I'm pretty sure. Flower trick, okay. Um, yeah, pretty sure I can just like go energy ball now. I can attempt to double protect. It doesn't particularly matter if I get it or not. Um, I just always have to Giga Drain into you and hope that they're actually choice banded. Nope, fail to double protect. They're going to flower trick me. Giga Drain should do a lot to Don Dozo. I outspeed the Dondozo too, which is really important info. Because that means that next turn... Ow, ow, ow. Because <laughs> that means that next turn, uh, I just armor cannon to ensure that I outspeed and KO. Watch it be Scarf and I, like, lose. I mean, I don't drop the Sucker Punch. Because, you know, I, I, like, don't have a, a Psychic Typing anymore. Alright, Giga Drain, that should be it. This armor cannon's gonna go so hard. I'm protected. Okay, that's fine. I'm scarf, so I outspeed. Goodbye. Say hello to my little friend. What? Focus sash. Okay. Uh, does this KO me? I thought I would okay we're fine no we're good they threw um yeah because Giga Drain sh I mean yeah Giga Drain should KO this thing it does get, it did get leftovers recovery though let me think there's no chance it protects this next turn oh I'm not gonna throw am I let me think they're focus sash they have flower trick knockoff uh, I'm such a coward. I'm going to do this. I don't think there's any reality where Obama Snow drops to uh, Meow Scarada with the defense boost. I'm going to double. They just went, they just tried to go for the triple. Okay. That didn't KO. Oh, I might have thrown, depending on how much this does to my uh, Obama Snow. Knockoff? I can live that. Yeah, okay, we're good. I, I like almost threw there, but I was fairly certain that if they were knockoff Focus Sash, that they would have to have Protect on it. But uh, yeah, there's no way they win now. Okay, today was a very messy episode. I'm going to keep it real with you guys, but we still won. We're fine. Watch them actually have Sucker Bunch. No, okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> and I should remember to put music in that in that video, or in that section of the video, because I accidentally selected no music. Okay. Well, uh, let's see where we climb to, and then I'll probably record a little bit more, you know. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you guys want me to make uh, moveset guides around. Actually, instead of like a double upload today, we might just do, I might just, I might just like battle more and get myself in the Master Ball tier because I think the issue is I'm not practicing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next, actually, hold on, I said I would see what my rank is. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do another one, but I'm gonna do it off camera. Have a nice one.